Hey guys, so this will be my first time talking to the camera, but I think it'll be really beneficial for you if I can uh, vocalize exactly what I'm doing. Um, a couple of my close friends have asked me to walk step by step of how I do my foundation. So that is what I'm going, going to be doing for you guys. So the first thing that I do is take my hair and clip it back. And if you guys watch my videos, usually I put it in a bun or in a braid or something, but regardless, you want it out of your face so it doesn't get in the way of what you're doing. So just, I know I look crazy. Anyways, um, the very first thing that I do after I wash my face and um, uh, because of my acne, I do several steps. So I have this little acne kit, but after I use that, I just use um, coconut oil as my moisturizer and um, I have noticed in the last several months um, of me using this it has lightened my scarring it has taken a lot of the excess oil off my face because I have extremely oily skin and um, it's just really helped with everything I feel like it's kind of evened out my tone um, and the redness in my face which if you guys have seen my first video you guys know before I put on the makeup how red it was. So, kind of looks a little bit shiny and my face is a little bit red only because I'm touching it. My skin is very sensitive. Um, but m literally, my skin just absorbs it. So I know it's kind of like n opposite of what you would think of. Why would you put oil on your face when you have oily skin? Well, um, what I've learned through my dermatologist and um, kind of trial and error with these products is that if I don't use any sort of um, lotion, my skin produces more, more oil. And I think it's because all of my acne treatments dry out my skin. So I have found even using acne um, lotions, they don't really do what I need it to do. So um, I heard through a good friend of mine to start using this um, coconut oil. And as you can see, I have a, a blemish there. But other than that, my acne has cleared up great. Um, if you guys ever want me to walk through um, the process and what um, products I use and just talk about the different steps that I did with my dermatologist, I would love to do that for you because I did go through a series of chemical peels to get rid of some of the acne scarring. Anyway, so I put coconut oil on my face, kind of let it set for a couple minutes, and then um, the key to, especially if you have oily skin, um, you want to use some sort of primer because if you have excess oil, your foundation will fall off your skin, so you always want to use a primer. I will say this too, for any sort of formal event, prom, homecoming, or if you're going out for a special occasion, or for wedding makeup, any sort of big uh, deal, event that you want your makeup to stay for a really long time, I highly recommend getting yourself a really good primer. What I have invested in is Makeup Forever HD Primer. And I got the green tint one because I do tend to have a red tint to my face and the green cancels it out. Um, Makeup Forever does have two other shades of their primers, so you can go check that out. And I know Sephora has it, or you can probably buy it on Makeup Forever website. But anyway, this is just a favorite primer of mine. It doesn't break me out, it has a really nice smell. I just love it all the way around. So what I do first is I go ahead and pump one big pump on the back of my hand, and I use my other hand to massage it in. Now you wanna massage it in and push it into your skin, that way it gets into the pores and all that. So I just go all the way around my skin, my cheeks, around my nose, my chin, up on my temples and my forehead. And then whatever I have left on my hands, I massage down my neck. So that's the very first step I do. The next thing I do before I put on foundation or concealer is I use a um, salmon, 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 how do you say that? Anyway, salmon uh, concealer underneath my eyes, and this is by Eve Pearl. Um, I heard about Eve Pearl through Makeup Geek, which I love Marlene, I've watched Marlene forever, I love her. Um, but anyway, this was referred to, who, referred to her audience, um, and she loves it. So I was like, what the heck, totally trust Marlene, I'm gonna invest in this, and it is pricey, 
Um, it's about $30 or so, um, but I'm telling you, it works. OMG. So anyway, it's the Sam I Conceal and it cancels out the bluish undertone underneath your eyes. And you want to put that on before you do your con uh, your regular concealer. So I just take a little bit on my index finger, index finger. And the reason why I choose this finger is it's the lightest. And so it's not going to be... Uh, this finger really isn't strong enough to wipe off, wipe off the product. So all that I do is I take a little bit and I do patting motions underneath my eye. You could even take it up on your lid. I like to take it on the inner corner here because that's it's dark and um, in that corner too. Um, sometimes if I have a little bit of excess product on my finger I'll just carry it onto my eyelid. But yeah, so that helps cancel it out. Can you guys see the difference of um, how light this is? It totally took away um, the bluish undertones underneath my eye. So I'm going to do it on this side and I just use some dabbing motions. Now I will say this you guys, me doing um, walkthroughs and talkthroughs of tutorials will take a little bit longer um, to go through so the videos will be a little bit longer. So um, some people like that, some people don't. So if you don't, I'm really sorry. Um, if you guys don't like that, you can go through my other videos where I you know, just play music and I kind of fast forward and I do little clips of each part. But for the sake of those that like talking through it all, I'm going to do that. So anyway, so that is done. The next thing that I do is I do my foundation. Um, and like I said, I love Makeup Forever. Um, I started out using their Makeup Forever HD um, foundation and it was more of the glowy side. And since I already have oily skin, I don't really go for that. So they do have this um, Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Plus line, which is fabulous. So if you have oily to acne cover like uh, prone skin. This is amazing. Um, so I just go ahead and give it a shake. And I also do the same thing is I kind of, I'm running low on it. So squirting it out on the back of my hand. And I take my Sigma F80 Flat Top Kabuki, which love this. Discovered this brush through Jaclyn Hill. Love Jaclyn Hill. Oh my gosh, love her. Um, love this brush, and so I stand by it. It's amazing. So I just go ahead and I do dab it into the brush. I kind of turn turn the brush all over so I get equal um, product in all the bristles. And I start around my in the middle of my face and I work outward. And so the first thing that I do is I kind of press it into the skin and not wipe it around. I'm pressing it. So I'm just using these dabbing motions to just go ahead and get it on my skin. As you can see, this uh, foundation has amazing coverage, um, definitely buildable. Um, once I get the product in and it has dried just a tad, that's when I start doing the circling motions to just buff it out, make sure I don't have any lines or clumps of makeup on my face. Whatever I have left, I will go around the jawline and down my neck. I need some more foundation. Now, I just absolutely love Makeup Forever. Can I just say that? I love everything on their line. Though it is quite pricey, I will say that, um, but if you're wanting to invest in a higher end makeup that does great in photography um, and just looks beautiful in person, uh, this is um, more of a medium to higher coverage concealer, but it never looks cakey on my skin, ever. I always get compliments on my skin um, and uh, very, very happy with it. Now the bottle that I am using, the Matte Velvet Plus, I believe is 36. Now, the Makeup Forever HD foundation, um, like I said, is it has a little bit more of a dewy finish. That one's, I think, 48 or 50 bucks. But they'll last you. You know, you don't, a little bit goes a long way. So if you really want to invest in something um, that's great, that won't break you out, which is the key for me because I have acne prone and oily skin, I have been on the hunt for years of just trial and error of things that are going to work on my face. and 
won't, you know, won't look cakey and actually last a long time. So, highly recommend this foundation. Okay, that's that. Now I move on to concealer. Um, my holy grail of concealer is the MAC Pro Longwear. Um, I wear NW20. So same procedure as I've always done. Um, I do two pumps. I put the concealer on the back of my hand. I use a beauty blender, which I just love. I feel like it just puts on a flawless look for your concealer and I dab it on there. Dab it where I want it to go. So basically the center of your face where you want to highlight underneath your eyes, down the bridge of your nose, around your cupid's bow, which is the very, very top of your lip and underneath your nose area. And also on your chin and then this um, upside down triangle which goes across your forehead and down pointing to the bridge of your nose. Those are all the areas that you want highlighted. So once you put the concealer where you want it, then you just do dabbing motions and blend it out. It just has such a beautiful paint brushed, paint brushed, <laughs> airbrushed look. Also get around the sides of my nose because you tend to have redness around there. And of course anywhere else that you have blemishes that you want to cover up, which I showed you guys at the beginning of the video. Um, kind of take whatever excess I have from underneath the eye and put it on top of my lid because I my my eye area is just red. So then you want to just kind of pat it out lighter and lighter as you go. It just has a, such a beautiful blended effect. Now also I have this um, breakout here which it's been a while since I've had like a breakout which has been really really nice but I seriously give it 100% um, towards the coconut oil. I'm not even lying. It has even helped clear up my acne and I think the reason why is just because my skin was so dried out from the acne treatments that I use um, to keep my acne away that it was so thirsty for moisture so it was overproducing oil which was causing clogging my pores can't even talk today clogging my pores and um, therefore making me break out but I'm telling you since I use this coconut oil it's completely helped um, so I got a little bit more concealer and as you guys can see I have this zit here that is so lovely and beautiful but hey wherever you have um, breakouts or any other place on your face that you have redness you can put concealer at because it doesn't really matter how much you brighten up your face with concealer I mean obviously it does you don't want to look like a Keiko Keiko <laughs> you don't want to have makeup caked on your face so obviously watch the amount that you're using but what I'm trying to say is you can have a lighted spot over on this cheek because we're going to go in next with, um, after our powder, with a bronzer to add more, add dimension back to your face. Because what we're doing is when we're putting on foundation and concealer, we're washing out the dimensions in our face, which are the shadows and everything that help give your face some form. But we will bring that all back. So now that we're done with that, I take my Stay Matte. Um, translucent powder from Rimmel. Love it. It doesn't break me out. It's lightweight. I get the translucent one because it doesn't alter the color that I've already put on my face, which is amazing. And I feel like it's universal, so I use this a lot on my brides too because for one, it's cheap. Two, it's universal. Three, it doesn't break you out. Love it. Love it. Love it. So I take my Real Techniques um, Multitask Brush, which I love these brushes. I feel like good quality um, for what you pay and they're great. I mean, they're so soft on your skin, just absolutely love them. You can get these at Sephora too, and a lot of times, uh, Sephora, you can get them at Ulta, and a lot of times you can use your coupons that you get in the mail for them, which take another 20% off, so I feel like it's a really good deal. So what I do is I just um, go around, get some product in your brush, just like that, 
and then I press it into the skin. Now, some people want to go like and just go crazy on your face, but if you press it in, it it keeps the product that you've already placed where it's at. It doesn't move it around. So I just use pressing and dabbing motions just like I do with my brush and my beauty blender. Same technique. I hope this is all making sense. This is my very first talk through. So I hope that it is helpful to you guys. Um, just let me know. I'm learning as I go. You know, I have, I ha you know, when I watch other people, there's people that I love that they talk through and then there's other people I'm like, okay, just play some music and just show me what, you, what I need to do. You know what I mean? So, you know, everyone has their own thing that they're looking for. So um, anyway, I hope this is helpful. Okay, now that I have done that, I go in with my favorite um, bronzer and this is Laguna and it's just gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. There's not a whole lot of um, shimmer in it. So it looks great, natural. Um, the brush that I use is another Real Techniques brush and it is the blush brush which it's great because it gets the product at the tip of it and so when you press it in the ones on the bristles on the outside um, brush in the product. <laughs> I'm having a brain fart. Okay so the same idea is I you know kind of swirl it around, dab it, get the product in there, start towards um, my ear and you want to put most of the product and towards the hairline and the ear, and then work down. Another way you can, what we're doing here is we're putting it in the hollows of our cheeks. So one way you can figure that out is by sucking in your face. And you can see that definition and that's where we're going. I know I look silly. Putting on makeup isn't always a beautiful process, but you look beautiful in the end. <sighs> okay. You can see we're adding dimension back into our face. So we'll just continue. You guys can keep adding on product until you are happy with the intensity of it. Pretty happy with that. So you know, um, it looks kind of intense um, on the camera, but in real life and in, in the light, it's not. Um, that's why I love this camera. It picks up the color really well. Anyway, um, so what you're going to do is grab some more product and you're going to go right along the hairline. You want to stay closest to the hairline as you can because there's only this small window here and you don't want to get um, bronzer towards um, your eyebrow here or your eye. So go ahead and stay around the hairline and then you want to put it up on your temples, which is this area right here. So you can kind of see no dimension, dimension, no dimension, dimension. You get the idea. Grab more product. You're gonna go along your hairline up here and then you work back down. Now I have a larger forehead. So by putting more product up here, it gives the illusion that I have a smaller forehead. Now if you have a, um, small forehead, you want to not put so much so you just stay really directly by on the on the hairline to just give it a little bit of dimension because if you do the technique and put it more like I did because I have so much space here, if you already have a small forehead, it's gonna, you're gonna look crazy. So, don't do that. Uh, anyway, so we stay up by the temple. And I'm sorry guys, it's hard not to look at the screen. It's just a habit, I guess. Um, go down the hairline here and then we're going to add dimension start with the most product when you first put it on by your ear because you want most of the product to be right here you don't want a huge gouge of product down here so always start back here by your ear go on circular motions back and forth circular motions and the circular motions are what buff it out There you go. We're getting somewhere, people. I don't look dead anymore. Woohoo!
Okay, next thing that you want to do is grab more product on the brush. Go along the bottom of your chin, not on your chin. Bottom of your chin, and what this is doing, it's carving out your face from your neck. So you don't look like all one blob piece. So you stay along your jawline, underneath your chin, along your jawline. And whatever you have left on the product, which shouldn't be much, you want to blend out. That way, when someone looks at you, you don't have this like this very uh, obnoxious line around your jawline. You want to buff it out. Whatever is left on your brush, you want to buff it. Buff, 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 buff. Whatevs. You get the idea. At least I hope you guys are. Okay, now um, what I do from here on out, and this is obviously um, extra, you don't have to, but um, I take my MAC um, 224 brush, it's this big blood, um, big fluffy um, like eyeshadow brush. Usually I use it um, to blend out um, my transition shades and buff out the color of my eyes. But, so what I do is I put a little bit of product on this brush you don't want a crazy a lot and then you want to you can if you want you can carve out your nose so I just put it along the line here and you can kind of see it being carved out in comparison to this side it just adds a little bit more dimension and you don't want to use a whole lot of product because you don't want this side, you don't want the sides of your nose to look dirty so really start off with a little and you can always grab a little bit more and then build up you don't want to grab a crazy amount and then just look crazy because you will. I'm just telling you right now. So just grab a little bit of product. Go along the side. You want to go on top, but you kind of want to go um, right on the edge of the bone there and carve it out. Just go up and down. And I kind of go like in this little corner right here and do that. We're starting to look normal again. And then I grab a little bit more and I go underneath the nose. Like that. If you are trying to go for a natural look and you don't want to wear a whole lot of makeup, you can grab some more um, bronzer on this big fluffy brush and go in the hollows of your eye, your crease, and you can add a little bit color back into your eye because you remember that we put on um, foundation and concealer to cancel out the color, the redness. So you can see the difference, how it just adds a little bit more mention when there's nothing on this side. So that is that. We are almost done, you guys. I'll keep your, uh, remember that this is long lasting um, just because of the steps that we took, especially the primer and also the finishing spray that we'll use at the end to just kind of seal the deal. Now, uh, the primer, base, the the use of the primer is basically like a glue for your foundation to stick to or adhere to. And then the spray at the end is what keeps all the makeup in place. So um, these are all different techniques that will help your makeup stay throughout the whole day. So um, that's it as far as bronzing goes. Now if you guys want, you can add a little blush. So I like to go with cantaloupe or this one is, so this is peach cantaloupe. That's what this one is. Melba. These three, sorry, <laughs> these three are what I use during the day usually. You can get away with these ones too. Um, this one's Peach Twist and this one, I don't know. It's, it's similar to or, uh, NARS Orgasm, but it's the MAC version of that and I'm, I can't remember because when I transferred it, I lost the sticker on it. So, sorry guys, but basically any one of these will work. I usually use these when I go out but it, you know, whatever is your, whatever you prefer, okay? But I like to go in with my blush brush again and swirl around. This is cantaloupe. This is what I like to, to wear during the day. And the easiest way to, to put uh, your blush on is to smile. And I have these like awesome little cheekbones here. And that's where you want to focus the product on. So you smile, lightly dab. You don't want to put on crazy amounts. And then I kind of go on the side and I dab it again. So my technique is I always dab at first because I don't want to like, you know, your whole face. So I dab, then I swirl. And 
And there you go. So you just kind of, when you swirl it together, you're blending um, your blush and your bronzer. Now, thing is, you don't want to be blending it downward because then you're going to er end up erasing this definition that you already created with your bronzer. So stay above the bronzer line and just swirl it around. Till it's all brushed out and there's no lines. See, no blush, blush. And obviously you continue to do that until you want, you know, you get the desired um, pigment or pay, color payoff that you want. Now you don't want to look like a crazy person either, especially if this if you're doing a day. Now, if it's during the day and you plan on being gone all day, then you know you could tend to put on a little bit more, I guess. But be very light-handed in this process because if you put too much blush on, blush on, you're gonna look like a clown. So, we don't want that. So we smile, dab, then we swirl. Okay. And that is it for um, um, the contour and adding color back into your cheeks now. I have a selection of different things that I do use to set my but Max Fix Plus is amazing and it's got a very light clean smell to it and also uh, the other one that I use is by Scandinavia and you can get that on their website and it's their makeup finishing spray the original makeup saver weightless mist and it holds your foundation eyeshadow blush and concealer it's oil free and paraben free there you go bye bam and this stuff is awesome the other one that I tend to use is Urban Decay All Nighter Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray. This is just their little um, gift one that I, you know, when you buy so much at uh, Ulta, you get a little free gift, so I got that. But they sell it in the bigger bigger containers. Um, for me, I'm gonna use Max Flix Plus. I just really love it. What I wanna do is hold it out about two feet, close your eyes, hold your breath, and just literally put it all over your face. It almost reminds me of like a light watermelon. So yummy, it smells so good. So you can use your hands, just let it air dry. And it kind of gives you a little sheen, which is okay. You want a little bit of a sheen to your face. Um, and then I take the clips out. It's the first time I think I've had my hair down in my videos where I was too lazy to do it. So anyway, um, so yeah, this is my full, face foundation routine. It will be an everyday thing that you can do or you can use these same techniques and it will last. So if you have like any sort of formal event or wedding day or whatever, this step technique will, the step technique, come on Sam. Uh, this technique will work to get you through the whole day and let your makeup last. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you like the talk through. This is my first time, so I know some of you like that sort of thing, some of you don't. So I hope it was helpful and I hope that you guys have a blessed day. Love you. Bye.